Hi and welcome to The Bike Century, my name's Ben and today we're looking at this absolutely awesome KTM RCA 1190. It's KTM's one and only attempt at a superbike and they really did, in my opinion, get it right first time. This is a fantastic bike, really well sought after. This is a 2012 on a 12. It's a V-twin, 1190cc, makes about 150 brake horsepower. Uh, this is an absolutely stunning bike. These are appreciating at the moment because obviously KTM stopped making them, which is a real shame in my opinion. But um, I'm gonna show you around this one. This is an excellent example. New owner will not be disappointed at all. So we've had some upgraded tires. These are Michelin Pilot Power Road 5s, I believe. Uh, they're a really popular sports all round tire. Loads and loads of meat left on them. These bikes came with uh, Brembo brakes, as you can see. A massive 320 millimeter discs, loads and loads of stopping power. Upside down forks, as you can see, they're clean and tidy. There's no rust or pitting at all. And then obviously the standard mud guard as well. The paint finish on these bikes is a little bit unusual. So KTM elected for um, a number of different finishes. So you've got gloss on the upper nose and the uh, lower, and then you've got this kind of matte finish where the RCA 1190 logo is. And it really works. It looks really, really cool. As we pan up, um, everything about this bike is a little bit radical and a little bit different, and that's one of the things that I really like about it. Um, you've got these really retro looking mirrors with the LED indicators in them. Um, we've got an aftermarket screen and this elongated front headlight. Really sets it apart, but I think it's the side profile that um, sort of, the silhouette, if you like, is, is what defines this bike. Um, the really high rear seat, not really built for pillion comfort, but, then again, you know what Superbike is. Overall, cosmetically, this bike is in really nice condition. Obviously, with a big front fairing like that, you are gonna get the odd stone chip here and there. It's not um, completely impervious to, to damage, but uh, I would say this bike is in really good condition. Um, it's got an aftermarket exhaust system, which sounds unreal. Um, it sounds like a crack of thunder when you start it. We do have the original system as well, um, and having ridden this bike, I can tell you that it's set up well. Um, there's no misfueling or anything like that. It rides really, really nicely. This really long elongated, um, but well-made uh, aluminium swing arm. And then you can see that we've got some paddock stand lifters and then really big Brembo brakes on the back with a matchlin, matching Michelin tire. Got the original uh, pillion seat on there. You can just take that off. There's a couple of little blanking uh, bolt covers that go on the top there. So no need for a seat cowl on this bike. Maybe you'd want to go for a towel tidy. Um, but uh, to be fair, as far as rear ends go, the number plate holder on this bike isn't actually that bad. So this side is very much the same. The body works in really nice condition, as you can see. Again, you can you can actually see in this light a little bit better, the, the two-tone, although the light doesn't really do it justice. It's almost like a pearl white. Um, the light in here does seem to make it a little bit yellowy, but it's not, it's very much white. You can see that uh, the previous owners put some swing arm protectors on there. Really common when you're riding tow out uh, for your boot to catch the swing arm, which is a shame, but um, the previous owners done the right thing by protecting them. Chain and sprockets on this bike look almost new. They're in really good condition. And of course we check chains, sprockets, tires, brakes, all that kind of stuff before the bike goes out anyway. In the cockpit, you can see we've got some decent quality, shorter adjustable levers. You can also see that we've got a WP uh, steering dampener. WP is actually KTM's own, own brand, so um, they also have WP suspension as well. Um, not the norm for a superbike. Usually it's Olin's or Showa, but uh, actually WP suspension is fantastic. Fully digital dash. Um, this bike was a little bit ahead of its time when it first came out in 2008 with a fully digital dash. Most other bikes had a partially analog. Um, obviously hydraulic clutch and, and brakes and now you can see the mileage uh, it's 12,501 miles let's give her a start up for you <laughs>
adjust this, but um, I'm not sure your neighbours will thank you when you start that at seven o'clock in the morning, but it sounds amazing. Uh, the throttle response is really crisp. Um, this is a really, really nice find. So we offer free delivery on this bike during uh, lockdown period. So try and take advantage of that while you still can. We don't know how much longer that's gonna last. Uh, we offer a three month warranty with free breakdown cover as well. Uh, we offer finance and of course we offer parts exchange as well as a dealer. I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. You can reach out to us via WhatsApp, Facebook. We've got live chat on both Auto Trader and our website. And of course, I'm happy for you to give us a call and we'll have a conversation. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.